Too fast for you. Okay. I was too joking, fast for you to catch okay? up to me, bro. Yeah, See, look, hours. too fast. Stop. Uh, too fast. Stop. Oh, 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 shit. He was going. Guys, today I will be doing an overview of our Knockout City. I played the beta back last month or two months ago, I can't remember. And then I've been playing non stop since it dropped Friday. And I let me just tell you, I've had tons of fun. I can't, this is the most fun game I've played. And I can't wait to show you guys some highlights and clips and just get into this overview. So let's get into it. First thing to note, this game is a 3v3. I keep hearing they will change to 4v4, but it's dodgeball. Just nothing else to say. In this game, there's tackling, catching, throwing, and of course, double teaming, even triple teaming if you find yourself on that opposing side. It is a very fun and chaotic game to play. Moving on, we're talking about some of the special features going on with this game. Um, later tonight in my stream over on Twitch, I will be uh, going over some of the other game modes. There is, there is a 1v1 mode, so I might play some of that tonight during my stream and showcase that. I haven't really played it that much. I played it one time for like a contract. By the way, there are contracts. You level up, get rewards. You, everything you can have in this game, clothes, accessories, hairs, all that can be unlocked just by pure grinding and winning matches and getting contracts. Mostly contracts, so keep that in mind. As far as this dodgeball game goes, this dodgeball has a lot of special things. Like each dot they have special dodgeballs for every map. No map has a specific uh, special dodgeball or special ball. It's all random. There is the moon ball, the multi ball, blast bomb and the sniper if I'm not mistaken I think that's all oh wait no my favorite one is the cage ball where if you hit somebody with them and they don't catch it it'll be put inside a cage a lot of people take that opportunity to fling you off the map and that leads to some funny things and also very frustrating times when you can't get out in time and they fling you off the map sometimes if they don't do it correctly you can make a comeback and dash using the square button to dash back and use your hang glider to glide back into the map before you fall to your death. In terms of longevity, this game has a long way to go. I think this game might last a few years, a couple years, to give it about three. But that's only if the devs in EA keep updating this game. I want to say at least monthly. I mean, weekly works. Uh, I'm s follow them over on Twitter and it seems like Xbox is having trouble so hopefully those problems don't transfer over here to PlayStation or PC by the way this game is cross-platform so hope you guys enjoy that there's supposed to be a tournament coming soon already and this game just dropped two days ago so it's only been three days and this game has a tournament in the works from what I've heard don't quote me on that and don't, you know, believe me on that. It's what I've heard, so it's just rumors so far. There's supposed to be a 4v4 mode, like I said earlier in this video, that's coming as well. I'm excited and would be stoked for that. Now, normally, I think in dodgeball, there's teams of 8v8 or 6v6, if I'm not mistaken. I think that can happen in this game, however. Don't need to update the maps and make them bigger. But I would love to see that. I could definitely see a comp side to this game. And just people who want to have fun and have friendly matches. There is private matchmaking, by the way. And you got this little hub here where me and my friends are just bouncing around. There are like five of us joining up here. Um, in this uh, hub. This is your hideout. I call it a little hub, but it's a hideout. Hopefully later you'll be able to customize this hideout. Each person has their own distinct hideout with their little crew. There is crews in this game as well, which is very exciting. But the private matchmaking and the level of comp 
is something I'm very excited to be to be doing. However, I once I did a stream, I think two days ago, or probably yesterday actually, and I lost six matches in a row. It wasn't my doing, it was my randoms, but I didn't mind it. And because I didn't mind it, because the game is so fun, I really didn't get upset at the fact that, hey, I lost six matches in a row this morning. I like that. A game is supposed to be fun at the end of the day. It's not supposed to be stressful. It's not supposed to get your heart rate up. It's not supposed to make you miserable. If this game, if a game is making you have fun, even in despite your losing, then this game is good. Now, would this be everybody's cup of tea for a game? I don't think so. I think a lot of people won't like it. I, however, I do like it, and I'll continue to support this game, and I will give updates and feedbacks when they have. Uh, maintenance or anything newsworthy, I will keep doing that over on this channel. Over on my Twitch, you could catch me live stream almost every day because I have not put this game down since it's released. So, link in the description will be below for Knockout City over on my Twitch. My Twitch channel will be linked below as well as my Twitter for any news that you want to know about. One other thing I want to talk about is customization in this game. Because customization in this game, it's sort of, it's very cartoony, and I like it. What I like about the customization is, it's very cartoonish, but, you know, you can make good looking characters, you can make silly, wacky characters. There's what people call drip, I'm not into that slang talk, but these clothes are very fashionable, some of them aren't. I've seen a lot of pretty ugly faces in this game. However, that would do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this game as much as I have, and I hope to see you soon on my live stream later tonight. With that, I'm signing out. See ya.